Good day, YouTubers. It's Brass Brad, and I'm back with a little continuation of my junky metal detecting finds 2015 little close up uh, view. I wanted to catch this stuff with the car parts that I did earlier, and I was just about to scroll over and ran out of minutes, video minutes on my Android, which maxes out at 60. So I had to uh, get in there and get rid of some stuff. So barbed wire, you, some guys collect that stuff. I've seen people with uh, assortments of that and fence designs and cedar rail stuff. And uh, you probably, uh, you know, if you knew what you were doing, figure out a manufacturer and style of the barbs and could pretty near date something like that if you're good enough at stuff like that. That swirly wire there. This looks like it could be out of a either a pin or I've seen uh, yokes and universal joints and stuff have something like that uh, capping it on the inside. It could be something like that. Big 8 inch spikes along with uh, Two different sizes of tamp pegs. Got uh, about an eight, nine inch, and six inch. And then we got some big square nails. And some of these are uh, pretty good shape because they're brass or something, and uh, they don't rust away the way some of the metal ones do. And there's two horseshoe type ones. Got different heads. Horseshoe head there, and horseshoe head type thing there, but an awful length. That's a two and a half inch long nail. I can't see them using something that long in a horse's hoof, but I don't know too much about that stuff. That one there is probably about inch and a half to two. But yeah, different heads than a regular square nail. And this uh, item here, seen them on uh, old Ford 8 end tractors and stuff holding the oil filter canister on the side there. It uh, should be a little curved more than that. And just hooks in there and clips. And that ring there. Must have been part of an old drum or bucket or something at one time. I found a uh, spot where it was joined right there on it. I looked hard enough for that. And spoons. Can't believe how many spoons are in the, the bush, but I don't know. Over the years, I guess people take them camping and logging and everything uh, hiking and just sit down and eat something and gets forgot or something that one right there looks like one of the oldest made of a different material and this one here the handle there's a handle of an iron Type. Well, that was a three prong fork and the, the prongs were really fine and it was really dainty and uh, it only had one left and it came out of the ground and I brought a piece of the second one with me but uh, it broke the rest of the way off on the way home so it was uh, they went missing before I got my collection together but I guess they're pretty old if they're iron it's really hard to tell any design on that. It's all corroded. And bottle openers, probably from the 70s or something, 80s. That's a pin there for a quarter key for a pin or something. And all this uh, metal pottery here. I could have kept digging that for three hours probably and it was 
real deep foot or so down there and there's just found some of the bigger pieces and it was shattered pretty small and uh, didn't feel like digging for it. It was spread out uh, probably a six or eight foot diameter there and I dug dug and dug and dug so it's uh must be an old an old pot of some kind that's for sure got some age I think all right well thank you very much I'm going to be moving on to some better stuff and uh got this chunky stuff out of the way here so we'll be into some better stuff here soon okay thank you very much bye